Hi, third grade families. This week, we are going to begin unit four of foundations. This is the week one packet, but I will let you know that unit four is um, two weeks long before we move on to unit five. So here are the trick words we can be practicing at home throughout the week. Animal, breakfast, none, something, because, move, school, and used or used. Um, working on spelling and reading those. All right, here is the family letter for unit four. Dear family, in unit four, I will review the exception to the vowel consonant E syllable. This exception, I-V-E, can also be a suffix like in the word act, active. It is pronounced with a short I sound. I will point out that the E in IV is added because words in the English language never end with the letter V. And the students will be learning that rule. Students will also learn a new spelling rule for adding suffixes to vowel consonant E syllables. When adding a consonant suffix to a word that ends in a silent E, students will simply just add the suffix. Like safe plus L-Y suffix is safely. Nothing has to change. You just attach the consonant suffix. And remember, they're called consonant suffixes because the first letter of the suffix is a consonant. Reptile plus the suffix S is simply reptiles. No spelling changes are needed. Hope and the suffix full becomes hopeful. Now a vowel consonant E syllable with a consonant suffix is marked like this. So remember, if it's more than one syllable, we're scooping each syllable. Rep, tile, reptiles, and you circle the suffix. Each syllable gets named what type. Um, I do believe on here that they should have crossed off on this vowel consonant E tile. They should have, just so you are aware, they should have crossed off this silent E when they mark it because we don't pronounce that. Okay, however, if the suffix begins with a vowel, students will learn to drop the E before adding the suffix, such as the word confuse plus ing. The word is confusing, you drop the E. Um, include plus ed becomes included without, without the, we don't put two e's together. And same with brave plus est, it's bravest. They drop the e from the base word. Okay, a vowel consonant e syllable with a vowel suffix is marked like this. So same kind of thing, they scoop the syllables, mark the vowel, mark the syllable type. Um, but when you drop the e, they attach it, notice, up here, just so they remember that it makes that vowel long. Okay, it's a visual reminder. I hope you're finding that working with your child is rewarding and fun. Thank you so much again for all of your help. Okay, now if we look at the first page, the directions say read the words, scoop or underline, and mark syllables and circle suffixes. Look out for the vowel consonant E exception and indicate where a silent E was deleted by adding an E insert, like in this example, giver exhales. Okay, those are some good examples. Remember, anytime you have that I-V-E, that is the exception. So actually, look at this. They give you one to practice. Give is the base word to scoop or underline, okay? And this is a short E, even though, put a brief there, even though it ends with an E that you insert, up here, this is very hard to do because it's so tiny for me. Um, this is a vowel consonant E exception because that I is short. Okay, so that's that part. And then all you do with ER is circle the suffix. Okay, same with exhales. It's right up here for you to look at. So X 
pale. Now there's an E there that we dropped, okay, to make that A long. This one is a vowel consonant E syllable, not an exception. And the first one, eh, 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 that's short, that's closed, okay? Circle your suffix. In this case, it is ES. Okay, let's try this one. In, struct, and then you have just the suffix I-V-E, IV. Okay, we don't say instructive, instructive. In, I, 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 is closed, that's a short. Stru, uh, uh, is short. We have two closed syllables, and then your vowel suffix, IV. Okay, but since this is not, struct is not a vowel consonant E syllable, you do not have to um, do any spelling changes to struct. And it's not even a one, one, one word. So that one's an easy one. All right, next row, I'm going to change my pen color. The word is tadpole. I'm going to think you could do this one two ways, to be honest, OK? You could say that this is an E insert because this is a long E, OK? Pole, o, o. That's a vowel dash E. And you could say that this is the ES suffix that you're attaching. Okay, that's what I typically have students do. To add is a closed syllable with that short A that I marked with a brief. Okay, um, some students would just circle the S and scoop it. Um, and mark it vowel dash e without inserting and just say that the s was a, t a suffix. I don't mark that wrong, um, but this is the typical way that we mark it in class. Okay, next word, inspiring, suffix ing. Now, in is easy, I -I in, closed. Spire, you hear that long i? That's because this is a v dash e. And we attached a vowel suffix, so we had to drop the E. Therefore, when you mark it, you should insert it right up here to remind you that that I is long. Okay, last one in that row, exploring, circle I-N-G. X is an easy one. That's closed. Or, I know this is kind of like a... Um, or a controlled one a little bit, but plur has that E on there, so you're gonna insert it, and that's a long vowel. So this is a V dash E syllable, plur. It just doesn't sound like a long E because of that R there, okay? All right, this one should be, um, should be easy, it's one syllable. The word is caves, say it caves and let's make sure we know that's a long vowel okay um, we know that a word can never end with a v okay so um, this is one of those that you can say you can circle es and you could insert the e like we did with tadpoles i do not mark it wrong if you just circle s and mark that it's still a v dash e word cave the base word. Okay, whoops, messing that up. So either way, third grade, I am not going to be that nitpicky as long as you circle ES or S as the suffix there. Okay, um, let's go to complete. This is another one. You could say that's ES, okay? And I'm using that, you know, exhales did the same thing as the example. So, com is short vowel O, close syllable. Pleat, that's a long vowel, vowel dash E. Okay. And you have to insert the E up above. Okay. To show complete circle ES. Okay. Now, this word, have, is interesting because, say the vowel here, ah, it's short, even though there's a long E, 
or si- sorry, silent E at the end. The reason the silent E is there, though, is because remember our rule. You can't end a word in the English language with the consonant V. So we're going to scoop this. This is silent E. And because it looks like a vowel consonant E, but it doesn't have a long vowel, that's called a vowel consonant E what? Exception. Excellent. So this one is the second exception. Exit out. Just like giver. Good. Okay. No suffix to circle there. All right. Last row. We have the word in, stinct, and then the suffix iv, instinctive. Okay, in is short i, that's a closed syllable. Stinct is also actually a closed syllable, even though that um, it sounds different, doesn't sound like stinked, but it's not stinked either. That's just because of the letters that are around it. Okay, stinked is close. In, stinct, if, and we circle if. Okay, this one is shame. That's your base word. Fool is your suffix. And notice fool is a consonant suffix, so you don't drop the E. All right, shame is a long A, silent E. We don't pronounce it. And that shame is our base word that is a vowel dash E syllable. Okay, last one. Live. Ing. Ing is your suffix. Living. Okay. Now, <clears throat> live. Can a word, can our base word end with a V? Nope. So there was an E that was dropped because we attached a vowel suffix. Although this vowel, is it living? Mm -mm. So it's short. Put a breathe. And again, that's just like have and giver. This live is a vowel consonant E what? exception. Very good. We'll cross it off. Okay, excellent work with that page. Okay, on to the next page that says pick the right word. It says read the sentence, select the correct word from the box to complete the sentence, write the word on the line, and reread the completed sentence and scoop into phrases. So this is where I say let's read the words. Repeat after me. Included included. We'll mark that we'll circle the number red if the answer is included. Let's move on to this word. Demonstrated. Ooh, bigger words. Say it. Demonstrated. Good. How about this word? Bravely. Say it. Bravely. This word. Theme. Theme. Next row. Completed. Completed. Next row, broken. Mm -hmm. Next word, active. Active. And the last word is graded. Okay, let's get reading and see if we can figure out which word belongs in the sentence. Let's not forget to scoop. Okay, number one, Abe must think of a blank for the bash. A bash is like a party. Um, hmm. must think of a, parties sometimes have, I hope you're thinking, themes, right? So I'm going to circle number one with green because that matches the word theme. It's a vowel dash E word. So go ahead and write it in and let's scoop it. Abe must think of a theme for the bash. Maybe three scoops there. Okay, number two. Jack blank jumped into the smelly cave. Hmm. How did he jump? Jack, I think I got it. Bravely jumps. Yeah. So go ahead. Number two, you're writing the word, spelling the word bravely. They shouldn't be misspelled because you're using your word box. And then let's scoop it up. Jack bravely jumped into the smelly cave, I like. Okay, number three. The man blank his thinking well. The man mm, included his thinking well, demonstrated his thinking well. 
I think, yeah, he, demonstrated means you show. I think he showed his thinking well or demonstrated. So number three, I'm going to circle in orange to represent demonstrated. Go ahead and copy that down for your number three, and then let's scoop it. The man demonstrated his thinking well. Could do that way. Lots of ways to scoop, remember. Number four, have you blank your homework? Have you, right, completed, completed your homework? Number four is completed. Copy it right and let's scoop. Have you completed your homework? Number five, the child is blank and runs a lot. Okay. The child is broken. The child is mm, active. Correct. Okay. So number five, active. And let's scoop. The child is active and runs a lot. Number six, were the kids blank in the game? Were the kids graded in the game. I don't think you get graded in games. Were the kids broken? Were the kids included? There it is. That sounds right. Were the kids included in the game? Let's scoop. Were the kids included in the game? Two for that one I like. All right, number seven. Should we pick up the blank glass? Hmm, be careful doing that. Should we pick up the broken, broken E-N. Broken glass. Should we pick up the broken glass? And number eight, she blanked all of the tests. She, last one, makes sense, graded, right? To scoop it, she graded all of the tests. Awesome job on that one. Okay, this next page is asking you to know the difference between this male and this male. Okay, so we're going to pick the correct sound-alike word from the box and write it on the lines below. Um, again, though, it says scoop into phrases, so we'll make sure we do this. This male means a boy, right, or a man. This male means what the mailman delivers to your house in the mailbox. All right, so we'll remember that. Number one. I will mail the file to you. Which one does that sound like? Yeah, M-A-I-L in the mailbox. You can write that in there and let's scoop. I will mail the file to you. Maybe that way. Number two, the male kitten slept on the rock. I think this is talking about it's a boy kitten. So which male? Correct. M-A-L-E for number two. The male kitten slept on the rock. Number three, the male singer will help with our band. I think this is another one describing it as a boy or a man. Number three is M-A-L-E as well. The male singer will help with our band. Number four, will you get your picture in the mail? Hmm, this is what the mailman delivers in the mailbox. Number four should be M-A-I-L. Will you get your picture in the mail? Number five, the male goldfinch, that's a type of a bird, landed next to the nest. Which male? I think it's a boy male finch. The golden finch is a boy. Okay, so the male goldfinch landed next to the nest. Number six, I lost my male friend in the old shop. A friend that it happens to be a boy. Yes. Okay. So M-A-L-E again for number six. I lost my male friend in the old shop. Number seven. If you mail that check now, it will not be late. Sounds like in the mailbox. Yes. Okay. If you mail that check now, it will not be late. Two scoops there. Number eight, he is the only male child in that class. Right, he's the only boy child. Very good. He is the only male child in that class. 
Number nine, look for your gift in the mail. Which one? Right, M-A-I-L. Look for your gift in the mail. And the last one on this page. Our mail is always in the box by lunchtime. Yep, talking about mail from the mailman in the box. Our mail is always in the box by lunchtime. Awesome job. Okay, this next page, it says, have your child circle the suffixes below, highlight or underline the letter that begins each suffix. Okay, so you're, you're proving, is it a vowel suffix or consonant suffix? And if the suffix begins with a vowel, put a line through the silent E. Write the complete word on the line provided, and be sure to drop the E when you're adding a vowel suffix. Okay, so... I'll be able to do this part with you circling the suffix. We have confuse ing. So you're circling ing. Let's see if we're following all the directions. Circle the suffix. Uh, we're going to underline the letter that begins. This suffix begins with an I, and that's a vowel suffix. So are we dropping the E? The answer is yes. So you're going to cross off the E. And on the line, you'll do this on your own. You're writing C-O-N-F-U-S, then I-N-G. You're dropping the E. You do not need to mark these up. Notice the examples. Don't mark them up either. We're just spelling. Okay? How about brave, bravest? Circle the suffix. Underline the first letter of the suffix. It is a what? Vowel, right? Starts with a vowel. And so what are we doing here with this E? Yep. Drop it. And on the line, B-R-A-V-E-S-T, bravest, drop the E. All right, we have give with the suffix ing, circle ing, underline the I, it's vowel. So what are we doing? Yeah, dropping the E again for the, whoa, that's just supposed to be crossing it off, so sorry. On the line, it's G-I-V-I-N-G. Drop the E. So all of these ones that we've done so far are kind of like baking up here. All right. Like is the base word. Let's circle the suffix li. Uh-oh, look. It starts with a what this time? Consonant suffix. What do we do? Do we drop it? No. Just like timeless, you're going to spell like, L-I-K-E-L-Y. -L -E you don't drop the E when you attach a consonant suffix. All right. Last column. We have struggle, struggled, E-D, circle the suffix, underline the E, it's vowel. We cross off the E. You don't want two E's, okay? And you know what to do to spell it. Dislike, dislike, ubble, okay? Circle, ubble, underline A, what kind of suffix? Vowel, right? So what do we do with this E? Mm-hmm, drop it again. Okay, so when you write out dislike, drop the E and attach A-B-L-E. Okay, plate, full, circle full, what's it start with? F is a consonant, underline that F. When we have a consonant suffix, do you drop the E? No, you can write P-L-A-T-E-F-U-L, keep it regular like that. Okay, hope, hoping. Let's underline the I, it's a vowel suffix. So you got it, cross off that E and it's H-O-P-I-N-G. Late, lately, circle Lee, underline that L, it's a consonant suffix. Do we drop the E? No, we do not, keep it. Spell it on the line. Safe, safe T. Starting with a T, another consonant suffix, easy peasy. We don't drop it, we keep it. S A F E T Y. Good work. Okay, the last page here says Have your child look at the underlined words in each sentence. They are spelled incorrectly. So these underlined words are wrong. You're going to write the sentence correctly on the lines below. Be sure, here we go, to add capital letters and punctuation and proofread it carefully. So we do not need a scoop at all. 
we just need to fix. So you're going to write, here's my signal. You're going to make this a capital T, okay, because it's the beginning of a sentence. You're going to write, that wild child is quite, and the only other thing you have to fix is this spelling word, active. We don't end a word with a V, do we? So when you go to write active, you need to remember to add the silent E. Very good. Now, we also need punctuation, otherwise it's marked wrong. That wild child is quite active. I would say I would maybe make that one an exclamation mark. Does a period work as well? Yes. Okay, so you're rewriting this on the lines below, okay? Number two, we need a capital. Was, capital W, Brad, that's a name, capital B, oh boy. Was Brad disruptive? What do we do with this? No word ends with V. So you're going to squeeze in an E for at the end of disruptive when you write it on the lines. Was Brad disruptive in math class? What's wrong with class? You need a bonus letter S, correct. Now what punctuation works for this one? Was Brad disruptive in math class? We're asking a question. Please make sure when you get to the end, put a question mark and you're spelling that out there nice and neat on lines. Okay, number three, Steve, first of all, that's a name and it's the first letter of a sentence, capital S. Steve gave, it's underlined because it's spelled wrong. Words don't end with V. You must in add a silent E, right? Make sure that that's a horrible looking E on my end. So sorry. You know what it is. Steve gave Jim. Uh-oh, that's a name. Jim needs to start with a capital J. Steve gave Jim a big, hmm, that's supposed to say handshake. How do we make that say shake? S-H-A, mm-hmm, that should be K and what? E, that's a vowel dash E word, shake. Now, did we put punctuation? Steve gave Jim a big handshake. I'm going to just put a period there at the end. Number four, the trombone. We need a capital T again at the beginning. The trombone in the shop was expensive hmm, for the instrument. We know a word doesn't end with V. We have to add a silent E again, right? The trombone in the shop was expensive. You could put an exclamation mark. Does a period work as well? Sure. Okay, last sentence. Capital T for the beginning of it. The hmm, black olive. Well, look at this black. Why is it spelled wrong? Right, after a short A, you need to use CK. So I'm going to cross off that K, and up above I'm going to write CK. The black olive, what's wrong with olive? Doesn't end with a V, got to put in that E. And I'm really squeezing, so I hope you're listening. <laughs> because watching isn't going to be so great. Hopefully you're listening. The black olive, with an E at the end of olive, fell. What's wrong with fell? Bonus letter L, good job. Off the plate. This says plat right now. How do I make it say plate? Long A, silent E, that's a V dash E word, right. The black olive fell off the plate. I'm gonna put a period there. You could put an exclamation mark, okay? Just double check, did you start with capitals? Did you end with proper punctuation? And look at those spellings. Great work. Thanks for joining me, third grade.